Hi, my name is Amish Agarwal. Let's talk about what happens if the police uh, threaten you, intimidate you and make you sign some sort of a document or some sort of a confession or some sort of an admission. A lot of times what happens is that some cases filed, a person is picked up, goes to the police station, maybe sometimes without an FIR being registered, sometimes with an FIR being registered. And the police, you know, threatens them, intimidates them, tell, uh, warns them of grave consequences and says that if you just sign on this particular document or, you know, uh, sign or, or, or say maybe give a blank check, uh, you we will let you go and nothing else will happen. And once that document is signed or maybe blank signatures are obtained uh, or perhaps, you know, a confession is signed, the accused person or, you know, the, the person, whoever it is wrongly accused comes back home and says, oh my God, what have I done? He seeks uh, counsel from his friends and family who say that now he has signed a confession and he cannot escape the liability with which he was, uh, you know, given an accusation of. It's a very simple thing. Uh, under the law of evidence, any confession made to the police is inadmissible. Any statement given to the police is inadmissible. Any statement given when in police custody or in the presence of a police person is also inadmissible as evidence. You need not worry about anything which is given to the police. There is a very, very small niche uh, exception, which is uh, officers who are empowered under other acts apart from the criminal procedure code. Say, for example, under the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act, uh, the Excise Act, uh, the Central Excise Act, that is, uh, or the Customs Act, where officers specifically empowered under the act, such as officers of the Revenue Departments, officers of the Narcotics Control Bureau, officers of Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, those officers, any statement, any confession given to them is admissible as evidence under the, you know, the act itself. So there has to be a statutory provision outside of the, uh, the normal statute of penal provisions, which provides for something like this. And the solution to that also is that, you know, in case, just in case you're one of those people who uh, has been picked up or who knows somebody who has been picked up by any of these officers and who has been now made to sign a confession statement, the only solution to that is, and a very simple solution is to uh, move an application for retraction of statement at the earliest possible opportunity where you state in that application that the uh, uh, that you were coerced or threatened into signing that confession or that admission and therefore the same should not be considered and the same should be considered illegal that is it but in in normal day-to-day -day affairs a regular person watching this video should realize that there is no difficulty in signing anything in fact when clients come to me and they say that if the, the police have called me what should i do and you know what's going to happen i tell the client do not worry, just go and write, sign on any signature or sign on anything they want you to sign. Write whatever they want you to sign, write and then sign on that. There is no difficulty at all because the moment you step out, you can just, uh, you know, send an email to the concerned police, uh, this thing. You don't even need to do anything at all. But as a mere precaution, you write an email saying that I have just been coerced into signing some document and uh, I have not actually, I have not given anything in writing. In any case, the police are not going to come up and show that statement in court. It is illegal for them to do so. In fact, under the Criminal Procedure Code, under Section 161, if any witness statement is recorded, the Criminal Procedure Code itself states that if any statement of a witness is recorded by the police, the same shall not be signed by the witness. The reason why is the strong suspicion with which the judiciary, with which the parliament, with which the law even the statute itself in an evidence act going back hundreds of years has a suspicion on police always because of the fact that you understand that when there is so much power there is also a possibility of misuse no need to worry go sign anything go write anything it is all inadmissible it cannot be taken against you you will not face any liability because of that